This is the incredible snowy owl. Wildlife in winter is full of surprises. Like this American robin, normally they eat insects, but here he's taking advantage of this sumac. The truth is sometimes the rules change. You don't normally see turkeys 12 feet in the air on tops of trees looking for berries of Asiatic bittersweet, but look here, we see exactly that. This turned out to be a very resourceful move. The ground had iced over, it was really tough to get to food, but yet this turkey could just jump up and reach these berries. They're exposed to sunlight all the time, so the ice has completely gone off the branches. That's not the only rules that changed. Early in 2014, the amount of migrating snowy owls had reached numbers never recorded before. It's snowy right there, right there. These birds are absolutely beautiful. This particular owl posed for so long that I could actually take a photograph with my iPhone to paste on Facebook. It got a lot of likes, by the way. More often than not, it's the younger birds that are migrating and the males go further south because they're pushed along by the larger females. Now this particular species certainly tops the bucket list of most birders. Some people spend years, if not their entire life, trying to find a snowy owl. Yet this year, there were so many that families could drive out to different locations and actually find them to take pictures with their families. Just amazing. Now I've heard many different theories as to why there's been so many snowy owls migrating south this year. I've spoken with conservation groups and biologists alike. But the common consensus is that a changing Arctic is changing food availability, and that affects the populations of snowy owls. It's difficult to determine what the long-term effects will be. But for sure, these beautiful birds should always be protected. Now, if you don't see a paparazzi of people taking photographs, they're actually very difficult to spot. Beautiful snowy owl. Let's see what snowy owls look like with different backgrounds. This way, you might be able to spot them better yourself with a pair of binoculars. Look at this icy, windblown field. Can you see the snowy? How about now? They're not only difficult to spot when there's snow in the background either. Look at this example you would hardly notice this beautiful snowy owl on this stump until we zoom in and get a closer look. I've even received calls where people believe they've seen a snowy owl when in reality, it's one of these beautiful snowy egrets. It can be very difficult to find snowy owls in the winter time because of course the ground is all white now with snow. Now their camouflage is perfect, but sometimes if you look at the horizon and you see that little extra bump, it might actually be an owl. A pair of binoculars is all you'll need to scan the horizon. See what I'm referring to? Just a little bump on top of this dune suddenly flies away. Let's face it, snowy owls are extremely photogenic. Now they'll tend to land on the high ground. Obviously this gives them a great vantage point, just in case there's any predators nearby. Now owls, they're meat eaters, but little birds like this sparrow, they can take advantage of grain from all the brush that gets through the snow. Owls have to hunt, mostly for lemmings and voles, but they'll pretty much take any small to medium sized mammal that they can find, even other birds. Now certainly life in the Arctic is tough, and migrating south doesn't necessarily get them out of the weather. As a matter of fact, watch how this owl deals with these incredibly strong winds. A quick hop down a hole, and suddenly all is fine. Even zoomed in, it's clear this little cubby hole protects this owl from the wind. Now usually the juveniles and females tend to be darker, where the males, like this beautiful male, are smaller than females and also a lot whiter in coloration. Now that's not always the case, but commonly is. 
Some of their poses are incredible, like what's captured on film here. Watch the teal. I mean, that is just stunning. Look at that. It hardly even looks like an owl anymore. And above all else, the golden color of their eyes make them among the most beautiful birds in the world. Thanks to the hard work of conservation groups and biologists, we can see this amazing bird today, but they're not without their trials. Loss of habitat takes its toll. Since airports tend to be very flat, much like the Arctic and treeless, snowies end up there often, and unfortunately, they were getting killed until conservation groups started a relocation program. The truth is, by paying attention and studying these magnificent birds, we can help ensure a brighter tomorrow. And remember, the future of wildlife and our own future is interconnected. I'm Mark Frazier, and I'll see you again real soon.